normal I've never had a friend And I've never looked inside the wall But now I come again What are you? Are you a ghost? No, you're clearly alive You've got hands, you've got me You've been talking, talking, talking What are you? Are you a rat? No, you clearly understand Holy shit, what the fuck are you? Of trouble cause I think everyone knows Now we're getting tons of visitors I keep turning the stone Where are you? Are you dead? Said the city's got his head But I guess things aren't the same Cause we've gotta move ahead Not my walls Just calm and I'll stay up in my bed And pretend that after all you faked your death I haven't left the bed in weeks and my sheets, they probably reek And I'm scared my roommates will find out And I'm scared that they might kick me out I haven't brushed my teeth in weeks and I keep hurting my feet ah, I keep ruining my body I'm ruining my only body
Look, I don't expect you to trust the whole damn world.
showed me that she wasn't perfect, you know? It showed me that she never am I. I'm all messed up. Yeah. Dumb. Lame. Cheap. A jerk. <sighs> a jerk is the one thing you're not. She sure feels that way. I guess it wasn't meant to be. I'm her friend. The kind you talk to at work. But never end up hanging out with in real life. If I right now decided that I wanted to play Monopoly with you, and for 400 rounds of playing Monopoly, I didn't allow you to have any money, I didn't allow you to have anything on the board, I didn't allow for you to have anything, and then we played another 50 rounds of Monopoly, and everything that you gained and you earned while you were playing that round of Monopoly was taken from you. That was Tulsa, that was Rosewood. Those are places where we built black economic wealth where we were self-sufficient, where we owned our stores, where we owned our property, and they burned them to the ground. So that's 450 years. So for 400 rounds of Monopoly, you don't get to play at all. Not only do you not get to play, you have to play on the behalf of the person that you're playing against. You have to play and make money and earn wealth for them, and then you have to turn it over to them. So then for 50 years, you finally get a little bit and you're allowed to play. And every time that they don't like the way that you're playing or that you're catching up or that you're doing something to be self-sufficient, they burn your game. They burn your cards. They burn your monopoly money. And then finally at the release and the onset of that, they allow you to play and they say, okay, now you catch up. Now at this point, the only way you're going to catch up in the game is if the person shares the wealth, correct? But what if every time you you share the wealth, then there's psychological warfare against you to say, oh, you're an equal opportunity higher. So if I played 400 rounds of Monopoly with you, and I had to play and give you every dime that I made, and then for 50 years, every time that I played, if you didn't like what I did, you got to burn it like they did in Tulsa and like they did in Rosewood. How can you win? How can you win? You can't win. It's not ours. We don't own anything. We don't own anything. Trevor Noah said it so beautifully last night. There's a social contract that we all have. That if you steal or if I steal, then the person who is the authority comes in and they fix the situation. But the person who fixes the situation is killing us. So the social contract is broken. And if the social contract is broken, why the fuck do I give a shit about burning the fucking football hall of fame, about burning a fucking target? You broke the contract when you killed us in the streets and didn't give a fuck. You broke the contract when for 400 years we played your game and built your wealth. You broke the contract when we built our wealth again on our own by our bootstraps in Tulsa and you dropped bombs on us. When we built it in Rosewood and you came in and you slaughtered us. You broke the contract, so fuck your target. Fuck your Hall of Fame. As far as I'm concerned, they could burn this bitch to the ground. And it still wouldn't be enough. And they are lucky that what black people are looking for is equality and not revenge. Yeah!
in power. That's all obvious now. It's genuinely sinister. We're worried about it. We've said that. We mean it. But in the process of saying that, we may have missed something else that is also true, as well as highly amusing. These people are idiots. For real. The angry children you watch set fire to Wendy's and topple statues and scream at you on television day after day are truly and utterly stupid. There's probably never been a dumber group gathered in one place in all of American history. They're mouth bleeding. They know nothing. Side. 
Only our compassion guided us. Prisons no more we said. Smashed in their cages. Executed by the state For every warrior down There's a man born in his place For every warrior down There's a man born in his place For every warrior down There's a man born in his place For every warrior down